Hello guys, I hope you're doing great. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit what this video is going to be about. Um, yesterday I was thinking about what kind of assignment I could uh, set to myself during the following days and I realized um, that I haven't taken any self-portraits in a while and this is a format that I really like. I really love to see other photographers self-portraits and I also love to take self-portraits of myself. I'm sorry if that sounds narcissistic, <laughs> but it's the truth. Um, <laughs> so um, I was thinking that during the following days of this month, uh, today is July the 15th, so until July the 30th or 31st, I'm going to take two self-portraits a day. And so almost a complete role. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to share uh, parts of the following two weeks with you. Of course, interesting parts or things that I think you might enjoy. I'm not going to share everything. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and of course, I'm also going to show you how I take uh, some of those self-portraits. Um, I think this is going to be a very interesting uh, exercise. Also a little bit challenging for my crea creativity. Um, I think it's going to be interesting uh, to see uh, or to try not to repeat myself. I'm going to use my Nikon FM for this. Uh, I've actually have never taken a self-portrait with the camera so it's going to be also interesting because of that. And I'm going to use Pan 400 so these are going to be uh, in black and white. And yeah, I think uh, that's, yeah, I think that's basically uh, what this video is going to be. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it.
Hello guys, here we are in the middle of this exercise. It's been super interesting and fun so far, uh, but I think I'm going to leave my thoughts and comments for the end of the video. Uh, right now, what I want to share with you is uh, how I take my self-portraits step by step, okay? And I'm going to use uh, as an example the picture I took today morning, the pictures I took today morning. Um, all right. <laughs> okay, so um, first of all, you need an idea. Of course, in some cases, uh, this is going to be uh, more spontaneous. Sometimes I just see a mirror and I shoot and that's it. But uh, in this case, um, I wanted to take uh, this picture that it's been in my mind for a while. Um, every time that I enter uh, into my kitchen and I see this view, I say to myself that I have to take a self-portrait here. <laughs> and today was the day. Once you have the idea, just start. Uh, so first you have to place the camera in the correct spot. In this case I'm using my tripod, but if you don't have a tripod, you can use um, anything solid that you have in hand. Uh, for example, uh, to record this clip, the camera is on the fridge. <laughs> um, I have also used shelves, uh, books, boxes and things like that. Um, just make sure that the platform is safe for your camera and that it's not going to fall because it has happened to me before and it's been awful. So yeah, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> So secondly, uh, make sure that everything that is in frame looks uh, perfect or beautiful enough. Um, it has happened to me a lot of times that I ruined a picture because something ugly is in the background or the room is messy and I didn't pay attention to that. For example, in the case of this image, I decided to open the window and also to take that towel out of the frame because it looked awful, okay? <laughs> Alright, so now that everything looks perfect, uh, you have to measure the light. Uh, for this, I use an app in my mobile phone. Um, I'm going to leave the name of the app below because I don't remember right now what's the name. Um, and I have to say that my mobile is kind of old and the camera is not the best and it still works pretty well. So I can recommend this app. All right, so uh, then you have to decide where you want the focus. In this case, I'm going to take two pictures. The two of them are very similar, but the difference is going to be in the focus. So in the first one, I'm going to focus the landscape. So that's going to be super easy to do but in the second one I want to be in focus so in order to do that what I did was to focus the frame of the window and then to make sure that my head is going to be in the exact same place so my reference in this case for the focus is the frame of the window but uh, in other cases I have used objects to focus for example I just put a book in the place in which I'm going to be or my mobile or even a pillow and things like that. Just make sure that you place yourself in the exact spot. Another tip for this is to use a higher number of aperture. Of course it depends on what you want to do, but if you want to be in focus, a higher number of aperture is going to help you uh, to make things much easier. I know that in some cases we want our images to look smoother or brighter and in that case we decide to go for a wider aperture and that's totally fine. Uh, just remember that you might compromise the focus, okay? Uh, so it depends just on what you want to do with your image, alright? In this case, uh, for this image I'm using an aperture number 8. And now the only thing that you have left is to set the timer. In the case of the Nikon FM it's super easy, you just have to flip the timer, press the shutter and run. <laughs> because you only have 10 seconds to be 
in the right place. Um, I know it seems short, that 10 seconds seem nothing, but if you already have the pose in mind, it's an okay amount of time, so don't worry about that. All right, so that's basically what I do to take the self-portraits. I hope this was useful in one way or another. And just uh, continue enjoying this vlog. I did it! Yay! I finished the exercise um, yesterday. It was the 29th yesterday, yes. And uh, I uh, shot everything, I developed and I scanned all the images. And today morning I uh, checked them all 
And I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, by the way, I'm sorry that the images are so dirty. I decided that I'm not going to <laughs> scan them again or to um, edit all those uh, water uh, marks because it's too much. And these images are just for me. So I don't mind that they are dirty. So I hope you don't mind either. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but anyway, um, I have to say regarding the exercise that it was great. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, um, even though I thought I was going to uh, be able to give more time to the images, still it was great. Um, I, I thought that I was going to be able to make the time to play more with light, uh, with composition, etc, etc. Uh, but uh, the truth is that I only had time to, I don't know, use 30 minutes of my day uh, to take these images. But the good part is that um, I took two images every single day. <laughs> well, in some cases I took three. Um, and that was great. Um, I thought that I was going to miss a day, that I was going to forget, or that I was going to feel too lazy. But um, actually, uh, it was a moment of the day that I was uh, looking forward to. Um, I really enjoyed the whole process. Uh, it kind of dis dis disconnected me from, from other uh, things of the day. It was like a moment to rest and have fun um, and play and play with, with photography. So uh, that, that was great. Uh, I recommend it <laughs> to you to do something like this. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Um, well, regarding the images, um, I think I like them. Um, I like that, that they look very natural and I think they represent more or less uh, what my days look like or what parts of my day I look like. Um, I thought, uh, as I told you, uh, that I was going to, uh, I don't know, uh, give them more production or maybe to experiment more, maybe to play with a concept or something like that. But um, I think as a sort of register of my life, maybe as a sort of um, diary, it's, uh, they look kind of great. Um, yeah, I like them, especially the ones with my cat. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, they look pretty natural and most of them, and I like them. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, also I think that when I was in the middle of this exercise, uh, maybe in the end of the first week or at the beginning of the second week, I had forgotten completely what I have done. <laughs> so um, I started to get a little bit uh, scared about repeating myself too much, but I decided to let that go very quickly, fortunately, and I said, well, if I repeat myself, I don't really mind. Um, and I'm glad I did it uh, because uh, I had so much fun. I went with the flow and yeah, yeah, it, I, it was great. It was a great exercise and I think I will eventually repeat it. Maybe not with self-portraits, but maybe with something else. Um, just to take two images of something, uh, yeah, just to, to practice and just to keep myself exercising. Um, yeah, I think I will do that eventually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was inspiring in some way for you or useful or you. I hope you learned something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Um, if you have any questions, any opinions, please uh, comment below. I would be super happy to uh, read uh, what you have to say. And also, if you like this channel, subscribe. That would be great. <laughs> Alright, um, have a nice week. Um, enjoy your time and see you in the next video. Bye bye.